And we begin tonight with that breaking news on a shooting on the Lodge Freeway. Let's get right to Action News reporter Curtis Jackson live at the scene. Curtis, what do you know? Well, Carolyn, I'm standing over the Lodge right now. I'm going to have you just follow me over here. You can see a white Chrysler 300 over here in the southbound lane. Now, from what we have been told by witnesses, a man in that car got out and started shooting. He fired some shots at a vehicle about, uh, say, 300 feet behind us and then fired some shots in front of him. Once he finished firing those shots, he began to throw everything that you see right now on the road out of his car. That includes what appears to be several assault weapons, including some long guns there. We're going to push into those so you can get a really good look at them. Police are standing in the way of those guns right now, but there are several long guns that he tossed out of the car. Witnesses then say he began yelling at bystanders above the highway and actually began throwing bullets at them. Police arrived on the scene, and once that occurred, the man threw up his hands and surrendered and has been taken into custody, according to police. I'm joined now by Stan Jewell. Stan saw the whole thing go down. Stan, tell us what you saw. Uh, once I got out here, he was already down here. It was a black car maybe 30, 40 feet in front of him. He hops out, walks halfway to that car, shots about, shot about four shots, goes back to his car, proceeds to throw all those guns out of his car, then had some words with the people on the side of the uh, freeway, threw some stuff up there at them, and then once the police got to coming, he surrendered or something. That was pretty much it. What was going through your mind when you were seeing all this? It was like a movie. I'm, I'm looking like I was, I'm kind of ducking, thinking he might have shot a couple of shots our way because he had enough, I don't know what I'm saying, ammunition. Stan, so, thank you very much. Uh, we are told we have an unconfirmed report of one person transported to Sinai Grace. Again, unconfirmed at this particular point of one person transported to the hospital. But again, a man stepped out of a vehicle here on the lodge, began shooting, shot at one vehicle, shot at another vehicle that does not appear to be still here at the scene. Police arrived on the scene. He immediately surrendered. That man threw several weapons, assault weapons, out of the car. I'm going to pan to those again because we got a really good shot at them right now. Very clear shot. You can see a number of different guns there, long guns, handguns, maybe, I think, an, an assault rifle, an AK-47 type of rifle there as well. Began tossing those guns out of the car. When police arrived, he immediately surrendered and has been taken into custody. As you can see, the southbound traffic is shut down completely. Northbound traffic is moving along as normal. We're going to continue to follow this story, give you the latest updates as they become available. But for now, Carolyn, back to you. Curtis, I just want to ask you a quick question, and you may not know this, but the gentleman behind you might. Was this during rush hour? Because the lodge can get really packed if this guy got out of his car. I mean, were cars at a standstill? How was he able to do that? Stan puts that time frame at about 6, 615, so toward the end of rush hour, but still, as you mentioned, quite a number of cars uh, could be on the road at that particular time. And, and where is the, where though, is the, did not where is the, where's the black vehicle or the gentleman he shot at? Where's that black the, vehicle? That vehicle is a hard to see. It's a good two to 300 feet behind us in the southbound lane. If you go, gotcha. Marlon, see that uh, car right there? Let's focus on that police car with the flashing lights. Uh, right back there at the back. That car right there, the police car with the flashing lights, is across from the other vehicle that appears to have been involved in this incident and may have been the target of the shooter. We're going to try to get all of that information for you here as soon as we get an opportunity to confirm some of the witness reports that we're hearing. All right, good job, Curtis, because I know you just got there on the scene and trying to get as much information as you can for us. Thank you so much. We'll check back with you.